In this presentation, we're going to take a look at the process of creating a course on Skillshare. So we'll actually go through and upload some course content to the Skillshare platform. Get ready for business, online business. Here we are in our Skillshare platform. So we're currently in the teaching platform where our list of courses are at. So if you're, if you're signed up into Skillshare, then you're going to go to the teach drop down and you want to say the classes you're teaching. So th these are the classes you're teaching. If you don't have anything there yet, then this will be empty and we'll have this button that says we want to say a new class. So we're going to create then the new class. So we'll select that item. Now that'll typically take you to the, these two buttons are basically it, right? You got the, the video lesson button and then you got the class information. I like to go to the class information first because I like to name the course. So I'm going to say, let's name the course for that's the first thing we should do. I think I've kind of feel like, and so we created our name over here. So I'm going to see if this big long name will fit Might I might go back and modify this, but that's what I'll do for the example here. So I'm going to say, uh, untitled class, let's make a title for it. So there we have it. So how to convert a video MP4 file uh, into multiple resources, including audio MP3. So, and notice it looks like I have a whole lot more, more space. So I might actually adjust that title, how to convert video MP4 files into multiple resources, including audio MP3 files, uh, text files, and then and more so i'm down to six characters so we'll keep it at that it's a long title and i'm not sure i need it that long but we're going to keep that for now so then we're going to save this so i'm going to save this not publish but save it now now uh so that's going to be our first process i'll go back and i'll add the description later and the class project later notice the class project down here it's geared towards class projects and again, they used to not be as stringent on this with regards to the class projects. I mean, you could upload something without the class project, but they went back through and they're really trying to focus in. And that makes sense, you know, to try to focus in on the class, whatever it is their differentiating factor is, which is this project based thing, it seems to me. So you want to make sure that uh, you're pulling your title in here, something that, that the person at the end of the day has something that they have done, completed, created in some way, shape or form. Those are the things that typically work well here. So then I'm going to go to the video content and I'm simply going to add the uh, videos we had for this section. Now I'm basically pulling from the section that we were talking about here of our course. So the section of the course we were looking at was uh, this one, section seven. So I got, I got five, I got the video files, one, six, six, one, seven, one, this one's unpublished for stuff. So 176 and so on. So 166. So notice the numbering kind of helps here. So I'm just going to pull that information now. And I'm going to pull that's the that's the the major component here. So, and that, that that's what I'm using for my prior tools to create this course, and then we'll customize it to the point to the point that we can, uh, including a, an intro video and any other kind of resources that we can customize this to uh the format that would be best suited for this platform so i'm going to be uploading these resources let's see what we have let's go back on over here and say i'm going to copy the location so there's the location but i'm going to go back to the video files video files and we want so we're down here it was one seven yeah we'll convert video to post part one so i think that's where we started am i right yes so i'm gonna pick that one up and then i'm just gonna gonna add these and then the, the uploading process here to actually upload the the presentations is extremely easy here so now we're picking up the next video file it will take a little time for it to process one six six one seven one one seven one now i've had i have had some problems where it, it it made me upload it or re-upload a few times and it used to be kind of a problem because it got kind of glitchy on one particular file but that seems to be good they i think they took care of that because i haven't had that problem in a while they all upload pretty smoothly and they just want you to upload them uh, right in a row here so notice what we don't have is we don't have like one file being uploaded and then like a project file like right underneath it because notice these things are designed to have one large project instead of instead of like a Udemy where you might have one section with one project and one section with another. 
So if you want to have like a, a long course then format, then you might want to say something like this is course one, section one of the course, and then put a small project into that piece and then have your second component of the course continue on uh, after that. So it's just like much different in terms of us uploading, uploading the content here. There, I'm not, I don't have an individual video upload. I can't upload other content that's connected specifically to that video. I can't upload, you know, PowerPoints content uh, specific to that video. However, I can do so on the added resources. But that's all. That's that means that added resources is in one group thing for all for the entire course. And of course, that works quite well when you're talking about classes average 20 to 60 minutes for the runtime. So, so that's what you're that's what you're looking at. That's what you're uh, geared towards. Now, once this is all completed, you'll see once it gets to this point, video processing, then you, you can actually uh, get, go away from the website and come back in and it'll, it'll be okay. When it's still doing this, if you, if you leave the website, then of course it's not fully uploaded and you'll have a problem with it. So, this, so it's not fully processed when you see this, but it's uploaded. So you won't be able to see the, the video, but it's uploaded. Now, at this point in time, once this is fully uploaded, then you can go ahead and add your thumbnails. Now you don't need to add the thumbnails necessarily. They make it look a little bit nicer, but it's not really required. However, the first video of the course, you do need the thumbnail because that thumbnail will be the, the thumbnail of the course that they'll see when you go into the platform. So that's very important. So once this is uploaded this time, what you want to do then is add an intro. You need an intro that's going to basically be geared towards this particular course. If you don't do that, you will still be able to publish it but then then they'll come back and they and they may and they very likely will just close the course because you didn't you didn't follow the policy you didn't have an intro and when you have the intro you want to go through the components which is to list out the project of the course and basically who you are and go through uh, the requirements of of the intro then once you have have the intro item in there then you can add the image which is the image the uh, image slide which will be the image of the course so you'll add your intro and it'll go down here. It'll be the last course. You can move these things with this little icon. See how I can move this. Then you'll have to move that up top to the first video. Then you'll add a little picture slide, which may be the same as your Udemy course. Maybe something different. Something different would probably be better given the fact that these might be shorter courses. Uh, and that'll be the main, that's been the main components of uploading the videos. Then you want to go and we'll do this next time. Take a look at the class information and enter the class information including the description the class project and any kind of uh, resources that you can upload for this uh, course